Hello guys, I'm Architect Oliver and welcome to my channel. Today I prepared uh, another video, Churches in Philippines. Here in this uh, video, we can see the images, uh, the architects or builders of these uh, churches, the church name, the location, and the architectural style of that uh, church. I prepared also some uh, trivia uh, for that uh, church. So before we start, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe so that you'll become updated to all the videos that I will post. And I hope that one is useful for you. So let's start. First image. This is Baclaran Church, or also known as National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help. The architect, architect Cesar Homer R. Concho. Location, Paranaque, Metro Manila. And the style is modern Romanesque. This church is a modern Romanesque building, has a full seating capacity of 2,000. But as many as 11,000 people, including those standing, can fit inside during Masses. An estimated of 120,000 devotees are currently affiliated with this shrine. Next image. This is San Sebastian Church. Architect, Gennaro Palacios. Location, Quiapo, Metro Manila. Style, Gothic Revival Architecture. And did you know, this is the prefabricated steel section that would compose the church where the manufactured in Blinch, Belgium. Next, this church is the San Agustin Church, built by Juan Marches and located in Intramuros, Manila. Style is Baroque architecture, and did you know, this is built between 1587 and 1606. It is the oldest church in the Philippines. Next, see the image. This is the Manila Cathedral, or also known as the Minor Basilica and Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. Architect, Fernando Ocampo, located in Intramuros, Manila. Architectural style is Romanesque Revival Architecture. Did you know that the Plaza de Roma is surrounded by the Manila Cathedral to the south, the Palacios del Gobernador to the west, and the Ayuntamiento de Manila to the east? Next image. This church is the Kalashau Church, or also known as the St. Peter and Paul Paris Church. No architect recorded. Located in Kalasyaw, Pangasinan. Style is Baroque architecture. Did you know? It is unique architectural design reflect the Spanish and Latin American architecture. Integration of indigenous Philippine works of art with Chinese style fusion. It's massive bricks or ladrillo have been designed to withstand revolt and rebellion due to its fortress facade. Next, this is beyond the church and uh, built by Dominicans located in Binondo, Manila and having a style of Romanesque Revival Architecture. Did you know that the Binondo Church, also known as the Minor Basilica of San Lorenzo, and formerly known as Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Paris Church? Next image. Yes. This church is the Quiapo Church. Architect, Juan Nakpil, 
and located in Quiapo, Manila. Style is Mexican Baroque. Did you know that uh, Magdaleno Castillo began the reconstruction of the church from the plan prepared by the Filipino national artist architect Juan Nakpil? Architect Jose Maria Saragossa enlarged the church and changed the design of the lateral walls. Next image. This church is Santa Cruz Church, built by Jesuits, located in Plaza Santa Cruz, Manila. Style is Baroque, and the Our Lady of the Pillar Parish Church, commonly known as the Santa Cruz Church, and also designed as the Archdiocesan Shrine of the Blessed Sacrament. Next image. This church is the Malati Church. No architect recorded. Location is in Malate, Manila. Style, Baroque Neo Mudejar. The Our Lady of the Majors Parish, also known as Malati Church, this is only one of the two that has twisted columns and has in effect of retablo type facade the other being the Franciscan Church in Daraga. Next. This is Guadalupe Church. Guadalupe Church. Located in Guadalupe, Viejo, Makati. Style is Baroque. This is the Nuestra Señora de Garcia Church, also known as Guadalupe Church. The church is a mixture of different architectural style. An example of this is the facade which knows Neo-Romanesque Gothic style. Next image. This is very famous. This is the Pauay Church. Architect. Padre Antonio Estavio, located in Pauay, Ilocos Norte. Style is Earthquake Baroque. The St. Augustine Church, commonly known as the Pauay Church, the most striking feature of Pauay Church is the 24 huge buttresses of about 1.67 meters thick at the side and the back of the church building. Next image. This one is Miagao Church, built by present church Francisco Gonzalez, located in Miagao, Iloilo. Style is Baroque Romanesque. And Miagao Church, also known as the Santo Tomas de Villanueva Paris Church, its orange color is due to the Material used in constructing the church, adobe, egg, coral, and limestone. The church foundation is 6 meter deep and the massive stone walls at 1.5 meter thick are intensified through the use of 4 meter thick setback buttresses. As protection to the Moro invaders, as stipulated under Royal Degree 111 of 1573. Law of Indies. It's good to know, guys, right? Next image. This one is Santa Maria Church, built by Agustinian Benindo Fernandez and located in Santa Maria, Ilocos Sur. Style is Earthquake Baroque. Did you know that the Church of Our Lady of the Assumption? commonly known as the Santa Maria Church. The church is rich by climbing an 85 steps stairway of granite rock. The grand three flight stairways leads to the courtyard in front of the church doorway. Next image. This one is Bantay Church. Located in Bantay, Ilocosur, and style is Romanesque architecture 
Gothic Revival Architecture. Did you know the St. Augustine Parish Church, commonly known as Bantay Church, the restored facade is of neo-Gothic design mixed with Saido Romanex material and element. It is designed to be grandiose and reminiscent of pa Spanish architecture. It uses materials such as bricks and mud. Wow. Next image. This is Taal Basilica, or also known as Minor Basilica of St. Martin of Tours. Architect Don Luciano Oliver. Located in Taal, Batangas, and having a style of Roman Baroque architecture and neoclassical architecture. The construction of the present church began in 1856 by Father Marcos Anton with the Spanish architect Luciano Oliver, commissioned to design and manage the construction of the new church. Although it was unfinished, it was inaugurated in 1865. The huge church was completed by Father Agapito Aparicio in 1878, adding the main altar of Doric style measured 24 meters high and 10 meters wide. Next image. This one is Tayabas Basilica or also known as Minor Basilica of St. Michael the Archangel. Located in Tayabas, Quezon, His style is Baroque architecture and Tayabas Basilica has a unique floor plan that resembles a key. Because of this, the basilica is often referred to by locals as Susi ng Tayabas or Key of Tayabas. Tayabas Basilica interior is built in neoclassical style with seven altars. Next image, this is Baraka Church or also known as San Andres Apostol Paris Church. Located in Baraka, Ilocos Norte. Did you know that widely recognized for its centuries old domeless leaning bell tower? Next, this church is Angat Church or also known as Santa Monica Paris Church. Builders Juan Morelos and Gregorio Ginia, located in Angat, Bulacan, and having a style of Baroque Rococo. Santa Monica de Angat Paris Church was designed in Baroque architectural style. This could be verified with the existence of 18 adobe posts along with 8 windows. Windows, statued niches, and space, spaces between horizontal string courses, dividing the front facade into three parts, were ornamented with floral carving. Next image. This is Basilica of Our Lady of Piat, located in Piat, Cagayan. Style is Romanesque. This is the first thing unique about the Basilica of Our Lady of Payad is the entrance arc. It is located at the back of the church and one has to go around from the entrance to see the church facade. Next one is Betty's Church or also known as St. James the Apostle Paris Church. Located in Guagua, Pampanga, style is Baroque. The unique design of Betis Church reflects the integration of Spanish and Latin American architecture to indigenous architecture, including elements of Oriental style during the Spanish colonial era. The church political power of that period manifests in the architecture. It has been designed to withstand attack during a revolt and rebellion during the church, the appearance of the fortress.
Next one is, this is Baraswain Church or also known as Our Lady of Mount Carmen Parish. Built by Juan Giron and Miguel Magpayo. Location, Malolos, Bulacan. Having a style of Baroque. Baraswain Church, this is the birthplace of the first Philippine Republic. The first president of the Philippines, General Emilio Fami Aguinaldo, took his oath of office as president of this church on 23 January 1899. Next one is Tumawini Church or also known as San Matias Paris Church, built by Father Domingo Forto. Located in Tumawini, Isabela, style, Baroque. The church building is made entirely of ornament, ornately designed red bricks in its facade and its interior walls. The facade is flanked by two Poseido Corinthian columns and niches, one located above the entrance, the two remaining larger niches on each side of the column. The church circular pediment is unique relative to all other churches built during the Spanish era. Next. This one is Baclayon Church or also known as the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary Paris Church. Located in Baclayon, Bohol. Style is neoclassical. And did you know? The church built out of coral stones. It has a cross-shaped cruciform church with its juncture or cross crossings surmounted by the pyramidal wall. The original tiled roof was replaced by galvanized iron last 1893. Next, this is the San Jose de Ivana Church, located in Ivana, Batanes. Style is church building. The church facade was built alongside the shortening of its nave in 1854, when the population decreased in 1840s due to the return of the Istabutang to Sabtang. The rear portion of the church was closed. Today, ruins of the abandoned portion of the church can still be seen. It also has a cannellated bell tower supported by unusual buttresses. Its convent, which is part of the church complex, has an unusual circular masonry work near the stairway. Next, this is Sarat Church or also known as Santa Monica Paris Church. Location is Ilocos Norte. Style is Earthquake Baroque, Neoclassical. Sarat Church is the biggest in Ilocos Norte and possibly in the whole Ilocos region. This, the church is made from red bricks, the 105 meter long and also known as the longest in the country, this church of Santa Monica, first built in 1779 by the Augustinian friars. This is also the last Spanish church built in the Ilocos. Next. This is the Raga Church, or also known as Our Lady of the Gate Paris Church. Located in Daraga, Albay, and having a style of Baroque. The facade and its wall are made out of volcanic rocks, which are rich in the area. The current white facade is a result of the coating of lime for protection from deterioration. 
Next image is Paete Church. Located in Paete, Laguna. Baroque architecture style. The church is 43, 42 meter and 7 meter thick by 42 meter wide. The church underwent a lot of renovation due to natural calamities. It was made of adobe bricks, a mixture of egg white and other native material. The next one is Liliu Church or also known as St. John the Baptist Parish Church. Located in Liliu Laguna, Baroque architecture. This is the most prominent and notable part of the church is the facade is made of striking red bricks and adobe. The top of the wooden doors entrance is white sculptured image of the Baptist of Jesus by St. John the Baptist. It also contains stained glass images along with red bricks column. Next one is Pakel Church or also known as St. Peter of Alcantara Parish Church located in Pakil Laguna. Style is Corinthian and Ionic order. The church form a cruciform and has measured of 162 by 36 feet. It is constructed in the Corinthian and Ionic architectural order. The facade has classical Corinthian column and cornice across a floral stone relief. Next one, Church of San Juan del Monte. Located in San Juan, Metro Manila, having a style of Baroque architecture and earthquake Baroque. This church is made of stone and cement. The shrine was built in 1602 to 1604 by the Dominicans on land that was donated to the order. Next is Pasig Cathedral or also known as Immaculate Conception Cathedral Parish. Located in Malinao, Pasig City, the Pasig Cathedral is one of the oldest structure in Pasig City. It's established in 1573, coincident with the foundation of the 10th town of Pasig, and was initially consecrated to the visitation of Our Lady and changed to Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception 14 years later. This is the Paranaque Cathedral, or also known as St. Andrew's Cathedral, located in Paranaque City. This church is officially called the Cathedral Parish of St. Andrew. Paranaque Cathedral was founded by Augustinian Priors in 1580, make it one of the oldest and the most historical churches in the Philippines. Next image, this is Santo Nino Basilica or also known as Minor Basilica of the Holy Child of Cebu, built by Pre Juan de Albara, located in Cebu City, style earthquake baroque. The present church is part of the larger complex that also includes the open-air theater like Pilgrim Center, a museum containing antique relics and religious exhibits, and an extensive library. This one is San Sebastian Cathedral, located in Bacolod City, Negros. Style, Baroque, Father Juan Gonzaga from Barcelona, Spain, the Paris Bridge from 1818 
until 1836, constructed the original church in 1825. It was made of wood with galvanized iron roof. The church initially possessed a medium-sized bell. Okay guys, uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, video, Churches in Philippines. I hope you learned something uh, from this uh, video, the location, the architects, the style especially, and some uh, trivia about uh, the, the, the church. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching and I hope uh, this one is helpful for you. Bye!